guys today i'm going to be showing you my mora garberg ultimate survival knife build and before i get too far i do want to give credit to the person who originally inspired me for this idea and that is ust or ultimate survival tips and i got the idea from him he first did a budget styled version of what i'm doing here with the mora 511 but i was thinking what would be even better than his kit actually using the best survival knife that mora makes currently the mora garberg so that was the basis for this kit, and that's the knife that this is going to be based around. But without any further ado, let's get into this survival knife kit. And too far, you guys will probably already notice the fact that this kit is, or that I'm using a custom Kydex sheath, and I made this sheath for it. However, the reason why I did this was because my Mora that, or Garberg that I got was with the leather sheath, and I like the leather sheath. It's just impossible to use it for making a survival kit that's like this. And so if you had the multi-mount Mora Garberg, you could probably just make this kit without the whole necessity of making a Kydex sheath. But I made the Kydex sheath, one, so that I could build this kit around it, and two, because I wanted to test this interesting idea that I was talking to a viewer about, uh, and that is to make a breakdown Kydex sheath that you can break down and put back together. And so I'm also testing that with this kit. And in addition, what I like about this is that unlike any factory sheath, I was specifically able to make this sheath with survival in mind. So I was able to make this, as you guys can see, quite a large paddle Kydex sheath so that I could have definitely the amount of gear that I wanted to have on this kit. Starting off, now that you guys know a bit about the sheath and why I built it, starting off with the knife, it is of course the Mora Garberg, and that is the basis of this. The reason why I chose the Mora Garberg is it's not the most affordable uh, knife that Mora makes, but undoubtedly it's one of the best survival knives that they make. And so for making the ultimate survival knife kit for a Mora Garberg, or with uh, an ultimate survival kit Mora, I had to go with the Garberg just for the fact that it really is an awesome knife for survival very thick but still it is actually a pretty budget knife so that is the basis of this knife and once again i did build a custom kydex sheath for it so that might be a little bit more difficult for you guys but into what is around this sheath so of course as you guys can see here and i had some issues with the wrapping of paracord because i just didn't have enough paracord unfortunately so it does not look the best but it is essentially the same as how they wrapped it in the other video which i will leave a link to ust's video uh down in the description below if you want to see what he did that's certainly more of an attainable one for you guys uh, but anyways this is around 10 feet I think they used around 10 feet as well. Just the fact was that my sheath, of course, being wider, uh, definitely ate up the paracord faster. But once again, uh, around 10 feet of paracord. And now we're actually getting into the kit there. So now digging into this kit, one thing I definitely stole from their ideas was uh, the fact of wrapping things in with tape. So I really liked how they were able to wrap things in tape. And I actually tried this uh, kit without wrapping this in tape. And it worked, but it was really awkward. And the paracord had trouble lacing over all this stuff because uh, it just wasn't tightly held. So I did actually end up going back and taping everything down. And this is what the front of it looks like. And this is what the back of it looks like. As far as the contents go, uh, I'll actually dig into it. Um, so once again, I just used little bits of tape to hold everything down, and I kind of liked to do it in two-piece setups so that it was nice and easy. You guys can see it's almost kind of like a latch, so if you ever just wanted to quickly get one piece, but you didn't want to get it all, you could kind of treat it like a latch like that, and that's kind of what I was going for. But here I have a tops whistle, and I chose the tops whistle for this case because of how flat it is. It's actually completely flat on the top side of it, so it lays completely flat against this sheath. And then for the next piece is I chose the Amora Eldris Ferro Rod. That's at least the ferro rod they give you like when you get the special Mora Eldris. And I really like this uh, ferro rod because this one in particular is just a flat piece of ferrocerium. And I found that its thickness is nice. Uh, and overall, it's like I said, there's no handles or weird protrusions in it. So once again, it lays really flat against the sheath. So in addition to this, and I kind of hid this behind there, I also have a rubber band here. And this is just for 
whatever I want to use it for. There's nothing specific and it's not necessarily holding these. It acts kind of like a double or an extra securement level here, but it doesn't actually hold it really in because the tape does most of the work. So once again, using that special kind of latching mechanism, I have a piece of chaga on this side and a piece of, or not piece, but around 10 feet of jute twine here. And the reason why I incorporated jute twine and chaga was that if I rough up and fluff up this uh, jute twine here, I can use it to start a fire just using this kit alone because I can use the ferro rod on the other side to light this piece of chaga. And then taking the hot ember from this chaga, I can use that in conjunction with like essentially a tinder uh, kind of bird's nest tinder with this and use it to start a fire. So that's why I incorporated the chaga, but I really liked the jute twine idea as well. And then underneath this, it's going to be a little bit tricky to see uh, because I understand I used the same tape to cover it, but underneath this, and you can see it most notably on the sides here, I've wrapped this sheath in around 10 feet of this uh, thousand mile tape here. So that is the extra thing I have in here. Like I said, I apologize, you guys can't see it too well because it's underneath everything. But that is my kit for the Ultimate Mora Survival Knife Kit. Uh, it's not too complicated. I kind of wanted to try and keep this uh, pretty basic for you guys. Uh, so if you guys do want to replicate this, I would say probably the hardest thing is the Kydex sheath. Uh, but other than that, everything is pretty basic. I think, like I said, if you wanted to do this, you could easily do it on a more multi-mount because there isn't too much gear here. But anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at my setup for a survival Mora, ultimate survival Mora. And I think it turned out really well. And I like the few things I was able to put on here. Uh, I kind of wish I could put more on there, but you really just don't have a whole lot of real estate when you're working with, you know, essentially the length of your blade. So it may be a little bit extra for your handle. So you don't have a whole lot of real estate. And like said, this is not a super com comprehensive uh, setup. In addition to anyone who's wondering why there's no like belt mounts, I was kind of building this kit with the kind of mindset of being able to throw this in a backpack or throwing this in some kind of pack so this would be more of a pack knife and less of something like a belt knife because when you begin to carry a whole lot of survival gear on a knife that's on your belt it gets really bulky and cumbersome so it's not the best idea so that's why I kind of designed this with the ability to be readily thrown in a backpack so anyways guys, like I said, hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at the Laura Garberg Ultimate Survival Knife Kit. And hopefully this gives you guys some inspiration on how you can mod your knives to be more survivally. Uh, I would definitely recommend trying to make uh, Kydex sheaths. They're really fun to make. Uh, that's it for now and I'm out.